I'm currently recording this in mid-December, but I think it is safe to say that 2023 for Resident Evil is a wrap and it was a very crazy year. As we got a whole lot of content, which was pretty much a whole buffet, maybe the most amount of content we have gotten since 2017 or realistically ever, we ended up getting arguably the best Resident Evil remake with RE4, Resident Evil Death Island, which got a lot of people hyped up for Jill coming back and all the main four characters, including Rebecca, teaming up. It should have been a game, but not a movie, but I'll save that for another video. And to top that was, in my opinion, the best Resident Evil DLC with separate ways. It's a year we cannot forget for horror itself as well. Dead Space Remake dropped and was deemed amazing, and Alan Wake 2 was nominated for Game of the Year along with RE4. And you had a couple of other disappointing games like Callisto Protocol and such. There's a lot to review about for 2023, but now we have to press forward into 2024. For the state of Resident Evil, we genuinely do not know what to expect. Of course, we can speculate and say what we want, like a Co-Veronica remake, but we really don't know what's happening. I think the situation of another remake coming out in 2024, in my opinion, is honestly out of the window pretty easily speaking. RE3 Remake felt like a DLC to RE2 from all the way back to 2019 to 2020, and I don't think Cove Veronica will be a DLC to RE4 because we just got that DLC six months later after the game came out. Also, I think Capcom has now gotten the message of, we need the main development team to do these remakes. Apparently M2 was the ones that were responsible for developing the Separate Ways DLC, and guess what, I'm actually glad that's the case because that's exactly what their role should be involving themselves in Resident Evil games. DLCs and side games like a Revelations 3, have your two main teams do the remakes and mainline stuff and your CGI team doing whatever the case is. Speaking of that, do not expect anything at all related to Resident Evil CGI films whatsoever. We just got something this year and I don't think they're going to do something back to back. I would probably expect something for the likes of maybe 2026. I have another video that I want to work on talking about Resident Evil Death Island so much more and I won't be prisoner of the moment let's say. Now let's talk about Revelations 3. There were multiple rumors about this game happening for the past few years, and they have quickly died down. It got a lot of people hyped, including myself, knowing Rebecca was supposed to make a return to Resident Evil video games, and possibly having Leon team up with her at some sort of college campus or whatever, and there's just nothing anymore. There is a whole video I made about the entirety of what Revelations 3 or Resident Evil Outrage was, and how it either got cancelled or more so didn't exist. The link will be in the description. But overall, do not expect a Revelations 3 game at all for 2024, and to be honest, any time within the next 5 years maybe, because Capcom's priority feels like it's about remakes and mainline games, which there isn't anything wrong with that, it's just the Revelations series is very underrated and I would love for them to return and make a game to complete the trilogy. On to which is the most likely thing to happen, if anything, for Resident Evil. It's RE9 with a possible announcement or reveal trailer. I'm not expecting this game to come out anytime in 2024 as everyone, and I mean everyone, is wanting or expecting this game to come out in 2025. When exactly is this trailer, if it even happens, is going to be showcased? We have no idea obviously, but there is a specific company that Capcom likes to reveal their RE games with when they are a part of their showcases, and it's Sony. RE3 and RE4 Remake were both revealed at PlayStation State of Plays, and Resident Evil Village's reveal trailer was a part of a PlayStation 5 reveal event. Of course, RE2 Remake was at E3 2018, but E3 is no more, so we're pretty much going to have to rely on PlayStation events for 2024. So I can easily expect RE9 to be revealed at an event with something involving PlayStation. I'm not saying that it's going to be the next State of Player showcase, but just be on the lookout because that's definitely Capcom's spot for those game reveals. Now this was leaked, but we don't know when Capcom will announce this or if Metacritic just in general made a bad mistake and it just doesn't exist. It's the RE4 Remake Gold Edition. It's scheduled to release in early February, but it probably will contain RE release content and maybe a few extras, but there is no confirmation or leaks about the extras, we just know about the title and the release date. So keep your eyes peeled for that, it's not much, but I guess it's something. So now I want to get into a Q&A type of section where if you guys want to stay tuned, go right ahead since this is my last video this year, so I wanted to do something cool, I guess. Do you believe Capcom should consider doing more spin-off titles alongside remakes that let us know what's happening between the events of main titles like Revelations, Dead Aim, and CV, even though it's considered a sequel to 2? I think it'd give more opportunity for other characters to return even if it's not a main number title. 
I think that's what the Revelation series should be about. I really did like that Claire and Jill were a part, you know, the main protagonists. But I think if you are going to do a Revelations 3, it's got to be involving someone for the likes of Rebecca. And I think she would be a perfect fit for that game. It's just that I just realistically don't think it's going to happen anymore. I was on the I was on the hope train for a couple years at least. And now I'm slowly falling off of it because, again, I just feel like they completely abandoned the Revelation series for the sake of the remakes. But yeah they definitely should consider doing more spin-off titles alongside remakes, especially if there's so many gaps in the RE timeline that I believe should be filled with especially side characters like Rebecca and such. Should Stephanie Panicello be the mainstay voice actor for Claire after Allison Core from now on? I mean, yeah, because who else are you realistically going to get? I mean, as much as I would love for Paul Mercier to come back as Leon, I know he's not really going to come back. I just know that he'll either stay retired or doing whatever the hell he's doing since he's been off the grid of social media for like the past five years or something like that. I'm not too mad about Nick and Matt being Leon. I honestly, I'm really satisfied with it. It's just, you know, which one's going to be the voice of Leon when he comes back after RE6 in terms of Resident Evil video game wise. That's my question. But yeah, I think Stephanie does a very good job as Claire, and I think they should honestly just stick with it because there is some sort of developing consistency with voice actors, especially with Nicole, with Jill, and now Stephanie with Claire. Of course, Leon and Chris are still a little inconsistent, but hopefully there's some sort of continuity going on within possibly either RE9 or whatever games they end up showing up in, or even the next CGI movie. Do you think RE9 will be about BSA and it will mark the return of Jill back to the series as we were hoping for? I feel like her new era is coming soon like the old days. I mean, yeah, it really does make sense, especially if the plot is about the BSA, like I've said in countless videos. And I believe one of the producers for Resident Evil Death Island said that the de-aging thing or the slow aging thing for Jill is going to be a part of her story moving forward, so... That kind of does guarantee that Jill is going to come back. It's just, when is it going to happen? I do think it should be RE9, and if it is about the BSAA, it should be about Chris and Jill, because, you know, they co-founded that shit. Do you reckon Capcom will announce a Resident Evil 1-3 through 3 HD collection in 2024, similar to Metal Gear Solid? What are your thoughts on it, and how might it be priced? 25 pounds like Tomb Raider, and 50 pounds like Metal Gear Solid. I think it should be around the Tomb Raider price, though, but I still think that they are overdue on, you know, putting those games on modern consoles. Not everyone has a PC and not everyone wants to necessarily emulate those games. But I think it would be just a great opportunity for younger fans to really experience what the old generation of Resident Evil was like. Update the controls and graphics and I think you'll be perfectly fine from there. I wouldn't necessarily expect as much as Crazy Sales like a modern Resident Evil game, but... It's something that I feel like would be just great and perfect fan service, especially for the people that desperately want to play the classics, but they have no sort of opportunity to do it, whether if they don't have a PS1, a GameCube, or even a PS3 that has the classics, or just a PC in general. What are your thoughts on the possibility of a remake for RE5 and 6? Resident Evil 5, I know for a fact that it's going to happen within the next 3-4 to four years, because, I mean, RE4 Remake teased it, but in terms of Resident Evil 6... I realistically don't even want to talk about it. What do you think about a future Resident Evil game with none of the existing characters? Not necessarily a reboot, but with at most easter egg references with no bearing on the plot. I think it'll take a while, but eventually it will It will definitely happen. Because the characters are getting old, I get that they're trying to do like the slow aging thing to try and keep them around and stuff like that. But there probably will be some more consistent people saying that they want either a new generation of characters or previous characters that can take over and the old characters can like pass the torch of the Resident Evil legacy to them or whatsoever. And I wouldn't necessarily have a problem if they just started scratch with like new characters with it. As long as they just keep the survival horror elements with those new characters, I mean I'm satisfied with it. That's what Resident Evil is about, am I right? But yeah, in terms of 2024... Just like 2018, don't realistically expect much because we could get the bare minimum or nothing at all. Maybe just an announcement trailer for RE9 could happen, but we'll see what happens in the near future or whatever the case may be. In terms of 2024 for content, I'm not too sure what I want to do, but 
I guess stay tuned for that because I'm still trying to plot on what I can possibly do to figure out either a consistent schedule or just realistically some good quality videos. But either way guys, thank you for tuning into this video. Let me know your thoughts on the video and what you expect to see from Resident Evil in 2024. Do you think we're going to get a trailer? Do you think we're going to get a game or are we going to get nothing at all? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching and be sure to leave a like on this video to help it reach the algorithm and subscribe for more content in the near future. As always, I'll catch you all on my next video. Peace out and much love.